Hi everyone, my name is Horia Perutsu and today I want to show you the steps that you need to take to get your free IBM Supply Chain Insights account and how to actually get started and integrate some of your supply chain data into that platform. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing you've got to do is get an IBM ID. Let's go to IBM.com and you're going to want to click on this top right icon and click on my IBM uh, and then click on create an IBM ID. Um, once you do that you'll fill out this form and then click continue. Um, once you do that I'll go ahead and log into the email that you have just created your IBM ID with. Um, so here's your uh, new user registration. You'll get this um, code to activate your IBM ID. Go ahead and, and use that code. It's valid for 30 minutes. Once you do that, um, you should have your IBM ID. You'll get this um, email saying your IBM ID is activated. You know, I did this three days ago. I'm not going to do this right now. It should be pretty simple. And once you do that, um, you're ready to go into the sem uh, second step. So all of these steps that I'm going through right now to set up your Supply Chain Insights account and to kind of get started with Supply Chain Insights are on this public uh, GitHub, and I'll put this in the notes and links in the description. So um, IBM slash Supply Chain Insights is the repo. I've created this. It's your one-stop shop for using Supply Chain Insights. And so the first thing is, of course, get your IBM idea. We just did that. The next is get your Supply Chain Insights trial account. So that's the second step. And let's go ahead and do that now. So to do that, um, you're going to go ahead and click on this IBM Training and Skills site. Um, and in here, we're going to search for a course. And this course is DL25400G. Go ahead and click on Go. This will take you to uh, Supply Chain Insights Getting Your Learning Environment. Go ahead and click on that. Um, it's going to ask for your IBM ID. I'm going to log in with my internal IBM ID. Yours will be different. Awesome, so now we're logged into the course. Um, the first thing you've got to do is requesting your learning environment, so go ahead and click on that. Um, so you'll enter in your name, company name, uh, your email. So this is this will be the same one that's associated with your IBM ID, that's really important. And then click on a create request. Once you do that, um, you should get something like, we received uh, the request for the following environment, Supply Chain Insights and it'll take one day, so this is really important, it'll take one business day for us to approve you. Once we approve you, you'll get something like this. Uh, hello, uh, we've configured your request for um, Supply Chain Insights. Um, and then at that point, um, you can go into, um, so you can just Google Supply Chain, supply chain Insights.ibm.com. That'll take you here, and then you'll log in and use your IBM ID and you should be in. So that's how you get into the platform. Um, you'll know if everything is working if um, on this operation center you see all of these widgets and dashboards and external events. So that, that's kind of the steps that you need to get your account. So first you get your IBM ID, then you click on this course in your IBM uh, training class, request the environment, um, put in your IBM ID again, and within one business day you should get this, um, get this and then you can log in. Okay, um, so now that we're logged into our console and we're in our operation center, the first thing we want to do is actually upload some data. Um, so let's go ahead and ask Watson um, to find me this product. Um, so for right now, this product shouldn't be in here. Um, I'm going to make it version 3. So this product should not be in here. I did not find any product related to HPSA 2019 V3 from Demo Carrier. Um, so that's good. Um, so what we're going to do is going to upload a product with this name, and it'll have some information. And now, when we, next, when we ask Watson, we should be able to find this product. Um, so first, the first thing we have to do is we have to go into this uh, GitHub repo. Um, this will be in the description, and we'll click on a clone here. Uh, copy this URL, and in your editor of choice, go ahead and do a git clone. Okay, once you've done the git clone, um, let's go ahead and modify that document. So we'll go into Finder, and we'll go into uh, Work Directory, which is where I just cloned this repo, and we have the product spreadsheet. 
So we're going to go ahead and modify this. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, and in here, I'll write an HP and then a version 3, save that. And then for the product description, I'll write Oreo's uh, YouTube demo energy bar. Um, I'll say food, um, YouTube, etc. Um, shelf life, I'll put um, 100. And product value, I'll put 3, 2. I'll save that. Let's go ahead and upload that now into Supply Chain Insights. So those are just kind of some random things. Um, and, you know, that's just some dummy data, but you'll see how easy it is to upload the data into the platform. So we'll click Browse, and we'll go into Work Directory, Supply Chain Insights, and the product spreadsheet we just up uploaded. We'll click Next now, and then it'll we'll say something like, oh, um, this upload is similar to files that are pre previously uploaded. I'm just going to go ahead and click this one. That's fine for now. Um, it is a product, so we'll click Yes. And let's go ahead and click on View History. And if we refresh the data, so you'll see it's uh, 57 p.m., so that's just right now. So we see it was successfully uploaded. So if we go ahead and ask Watson now um, to find me this product, we should see all the uh, Horia's YouTube energy bar, all, all, the, all those things. So let's go ahead and try that. I found the following product related to HPSA 2019 V3 from Demo Carrier. Um, so you can see the product number, of course, the YouTube energy bar, all, all the data that we uploaded. Um, so that's just a kind of a quick way to upload data within um, with Excel.